Hi everybody and welcome, this is Dear Paul State Prophet. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I want to publish this video because I want to clarify one thing that keeps coming up. I am now uh, almost three years into my YouTube adventure and I have forever seen comments asking me if I am now a Christian, if I am becoming a Christian, if I will soon convert to Christianity. And they come from different backgrounds. They come from Christians who hope that I become a Christian or who are just curious. I don't know, maybe why would they hope that I become a Christian? Or atheists and other non-Christians who want to criticize me and therefore ask me if I'm becoming a Christian or not. Or Muslims who accuse me of becoming a Christian or working for Christians or playing into the hands of Christianity and so on. And I keep saying this. And now that I have published uh, two or three videos recently that deal with Christianity and with refuting the Islamic Muslim claims about Christianity and about Jesus, people have brought up again the idea that I may become a Christian. And I appreciate people inviting me to Christianity. I also appreciate people telling me that I should not convert to Christianity. They all have their own good wills and good reasons. And of course, I also appreciate Muslims making accusations about me being a secret Christian or working for Christians and all of that. Just kidding, I don't appreciate that one. I don't really care, I got used to it, it's so pathetic. Whatever. Where do I stand on Christianity? Well, very honestly, I was closer to Christianity before, several years ago, than I am today, to be very honest. In 2019, when I started having anxiety and anxiety attacks, which came together with some very depressive faces, around that time I felt like I wanted to believe in something again. I want to be part of a community, a good community. I want to have hope in something greater. I want to talk to an entity. I want to talk to God. I want to thank God. I want to ask God for help or for forgiveness. There were those times that I actually felt close to certain religious sentiments. And I played with the idea of believing in Christianity. The thing is that it is not really a decision to make, to say, hey, I like Christianity. I want to become a Christian. So yeah, here, now I am a Christian. It all depended on whether I believe in Christianity or not. So at that time, I tried to explore Christianity and tried to explore the idea of God once more. It was a long struggle. It was a long phase. I deeply thought about it, read a lot about it, listened to a lot of things, had a lot of discussions, and eventually I came to the conclusion that I simply cannot believe in the existence of the one God, and that I simply cannot believe in the message of Christianity. And I'm sure that I will have more discussions and debates about this very topic. I am even in contact with certain uh, Christian apologists that I am planning on having certain uh, discussions and debates with over the next months. Not as a hint, not because I could be convinced by them and convert to Christianity. That is not the main point here. The point is that I simply like having these discussions and I like talking about religion. Because I like religion, I'm interested in religion. It stimulates my brain. <laughs> so when it comes to Christianity and whether I believe in it, I am certain at this point that I do not believe in it, that I cannot believe in it, that I don't see how I could possibly believe in it. And I am very much convinced of that. When I analyze and criticize Islam and I talk about Christianity, and it looks like I'm talking favorably about Christianity, then what I mostly do is to analyze Christianity in comparison to Islam and to look at which one is better and which one is worse, morally seen, for example. Or what I very often do, most often do, is I look at certain Islamic claims about Christian teachings or about biblical Abrahamic beliefs. And I analyze Christianity and Judaism. I analyze biblical Abrahamic beliefs and then present how Islam is ignorant about those beliefs and how Islam is very unsophisticated in comparison to those beliefs. Let's be honest, the Bible, which is like, which takes seven times, eight times more longer to read than the Quran, is much more sophisticated, has much more history, much more great stuff to say than the Quran, which is a poorly written book. I can say this because this is what I think. This is what I think is a fact. But just because I say this, that doesn't mean that I endlessly praise Christianity and end up believing in Christianity and that I want to give my life to Christianity. I'm simply pointing out certain 
facts and certain observations and emotions. I also think that Buddhism, for example, is much better than Islam when it comes to existential questions or questions of suffering and life and death. I am simply not an anti-theist who is opposed to religion and religions. I don't hate religions. I sympathize with certain aspects of Christianity. I like diving into Christianity. I like reading certain Christian things. I like listening to some Christian music. Stop. No, stop. I'm not talking about... <laughs> I'm not talking about Christian pop music or Christian rock or anything like that. What I'm talking about is traditional stuff. Please don't misunderstand that. Man, that, was, that sounded dangerous. I don't listen to corny songs about Jesus will come back. Please, no. No offense if you do that. Whatever. I can lengthily explain why I don't uh, dislike or why I don't hate religion. I wanted to do something about that long ago. That is a topic that deserves much more attention. So when it comes to Christianity, I personally have not encountered any reason to believe in it. Because to me, sympathizing with something or liking something or wanting something even is entirely, completely different, completely separate from believing that a certain thing is true. I could never follow something again unless I am fully convinced that it is true. And I may die like this. But hey, no hard feelings. Don't have hard feelings for me. I don't have any hard feelings for you. I respect everyone's life, everyone's life choices. As long as I stay loyal to honesty and to truth, I don't see any reason why anyone should have a problem with my beliefs and where I stand on. I hope this clarifies it. One thing that I just want to point out and that I want to uh, ask for is... Many Muslims point out that the only reason I don't criticize Christianity, for example, is that I want Christians to pay me. And that may be one thing that they're right about. So even if I'm not converting to Christianity, even if I don't join Christianity, dear Christians, please pay me. Please give me money. And Jews, Zionists, I will never forget you. Please do not stop supporting me. Please, guys, I'm doing this for you and Freemasons and Illuminati. What happened to Illuminati? Whatever. Thanks, everybody. Stay well, stay happy, and stay away from Islam.